tonight testing out the brand new Jones Mind Expander Twin. This thing has been uh, sought after for a long time. People have really wanted a Mind Expander in a twin version. So yeah, we're just uh, taking it over to the Andreas Woods and uh, I'll let you know what I think about it. This board feels weird. I'm used to the normal version of the Mind Expander where it's got such a stunted tail versus this thing has quite a big tail still. So I'm really uh, not used to having so much tail to slough around on. Feels weird. mind expander it's definitely around the same flex I'm noticing it does have a little bit of camber between the feet it gives you that little bit of grip and I'm actually enjoying it much more now that I've set it back I uh, brought my stance in a little bit brought the front foot back a little too and now that I'm sitting with a little bit farther back on the board I'm noticing it handles better I think it floats better too so not necessarily enjoying the twin setup on it. I like it more directional. And I think ultimately I prefer the normal version of the Mind Expander. But having said that, let's give this one a couple more laps. <laughs>
day trying out the Jones Mind Expander Twin. Really surfy, really uh, sort of nimble. I wouldn't say that it locks in super hard for anything that you're doing, you know, it's a pretty loose board. But uh, yeah, that looseness is good in the trees, it's good in the powder, it's fun and it's overall a very playful board. I got a chance to ride it both in powder and on piste, I definitely feel like it accelerates in those powder conditions. <laughs>
All right, that was a super fun day on the Jones Mind Expander Twin. This board is definitely super playful for a twin. You can really feel those big, buttery, rockered tip and tails. And they're also utilizing that 3D tech. So really good twin powder board. If you're that person who's looking to take freestyle to the entire mountain, including powder, this board is amazing for butters and for rotations. Really good to ride switch and very playful as well. I definitely notice how playful this board is. You know, it's uh, got a lot of rocker in the tip and the tail. That's designed for float, so it makes the board super loose feeling. But yeah, really, really fun through the trees, really easy to initiate a turn, and then twin if you're looking for a twin snowboard. I personally much preferred this board once I set it back. Um, I like the more setback feel to the snowboard, but that's more because I just prefer free ride style snowboarding. So I'm more looking for powder and trees, less likely to be a uh, landing in switch. So yeah, overall really enjoyed this board. I think uh, I still prefer the regular version of the Mind Expander, but it's really cool to have it in a twin option. Definitely a good all-rounder if you're looking for a board that can handle both park and powder. And yeah, super nimble. Really, uh, really freestyle-based flex to it. So it's uh, it's got a lot of springiness to it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, check out the links in the description because that always helps to support the channel. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling.